King Cobra is considered to be an extremely venomous snake that can conveniently be recognized because of the prominent patterns found on its body. It's known for being immensely dangerous and hostile most of the time. Despite its appearance and hot temperament, it is not the most terrifying snake. Certain other serpents are extremely dreadful, for instance the black mamba and elipids. Probably this sense of comparative inferiority annoys the king cobra, and it acts like the most antagonized snake. Let's talk about the 15 scariest snakes that actually exist, and are so scary that even the menacing cobras seek refuge from these. But before we get started, be sure to click the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Green Tree Python Green tree pythons are not considered a threat to humans as they don't possess venom. They grow up to 5 feet in length and don't have a dangerous demeanor. They can be seen dangling from tree branches and looking for prey. Despite not being venomous, they are quite hard and they can even try to crush their prey, although they don't have sufficient strength to crush a human. Green tree pythons are found in New Guinea, Australia and eastern Indonesia. Their preferred habitat includes areas having high humidity and thick vegetation like rainforests, gardens and woods. They mostly reside in trees and venture to the ground late at night when they look for prey like reptiles and small mammals. They identify their prey with the help of eyesight and subsequently rely on their labial pits for finding their heat signature. As the prey gets within range, they immediately strike and swallow it. Saw-Scaled Viper Saw-Scaled Viper is a nightmarishly scary snake. Although they're just about three feet long, they contain extremely toxic venom, which is really scary and quite fatal. It can be corroborated from the fact that in areas that they are found, they are responsible for more human casualties than any other species of snake. They love to live in dry savannas and arid areas like southwestern Asia, India, Sri Lanka, Arabian Peninsula, and Africa. Saw-scaled vipers have a peculiar appearance with a sturdy body, pear-like heads, short and slender tails, and jagged scales in a grey, brown, and sometimes orange colors. By nature, they're aggressive and short-tempered, which is further exacerbated by their deadly venom. You can judge their aggressive mood by seeing their body adapting an S-shape and hissing sounds that they start producing from their scales. Tiger Snake A tiger snake is considered equally dangerous as a tiger. Their name comes from their yellow, black, and brown stripes resembling a tiger. They grow up to 7 feet long and are native to only Australia. Toxic venom and the tendency to be aggressive makes them immensely scary. On feeling being threatened, they turn their body into a loose curve and raise their head to point directly at the offender. If it does not ward off and alert the offender, they hiss quite loudly while inflating and deflating their bodies. Obviously, it is the final warning, and after that the tiger snake will assault vigorously and bite, injecting a dreadful coagulant as well as neurotoxic venom. Therefore, immediate medical treatment is crucial to saving the life of its victim. Interestingly, the tiger snake has predators like nesting gulls who peck out their eyes, and other birds as well as other snakes. Inland Taipan Due to the extreme lethality of their venom, inland Taipan is mostly referred to as the fierce snake. Its venom is more toxic than the sea snake, and its single bite is sufficient to kill a hundred fully grown humans. Its distinctive features like fast movement, agility, and high accuracy combined with a dreadful bite lead to sure disaster. They are quite shy and usually prefer to move away from challenging situations, therefore it's advisable to let it escape and not to provoke it. They're considered to be the leading cause of human death as compared to other snakes. They're found in Australia. A person bitten by the inland taipan is likely to experience awful symptoms like headache, nausea, vomiting leading to stomach pain, dizziness, convulsions, organ failure or damage, and ultimately death. Black Mamba Black Mamba is one of the most frightening snakes on the African continent. It's considered among some of the intelligent snakes with its swift-moving body and immensely dreadful nature. Generally, they reach up to a length of 8.2 feet, but some can grow up to 14 feet. Normally, the black mamba is not aggressive, but it will not hesitate to attack if threatened. They raise their heads off the ground, flatten their bodies and their hoods, and finally bite many times. Their venom is extremely toxic. Just two drops of venom can suffice to kill a human, whereas they carry about 20 drops in their fangs. Its venom comprises cardiotoxins and neurotoxins, which affect the heart and nervous systems. 
The victim will experience pain and light burning, immediately followed by losing control of speech and tongue, blurred vision, drowsiness, medical confusion, and ultimately paralysis. Boom slangs. This dangerous five-foot-long terrestrial serpent is technically called Dysphyllidus typus and is found in African lowland forests, groves, shrubs, and arid savannas. They possess long, thin bodies which merge with the surroundings and mostly reside up in the trees and are sometimes found on the ground. Bormslang is the most venomous snake found among the fanged fraternity. They are capable of opening the mouth up to 170 degrees and injecting extremely hemotoxic venom into the victims, which instantly starts decimating their circulatory systems. The victim's blood can stop clotting and can result in death due to external and internal bleeding. Its symptoms may take hours to appear as its venom is slow acting. Boom slungs don't attack unless threatened or infuriated by the offender. Malayan Cryet The Malayan Cryet is also known as Bungaroos Candidus. It's a venomous snake growing up to 43 inches long and has a 6.3 inch long tail. Their color can vary greatly because they usually tend to have skin in shades of black, brown, and bluish black, with yellowish white spaces in between the darker shades. They are native to Southeast Asia from the south of Indochina to the Indonesian islands of Bali and Java. Their bites score up to 60 to 70 percent mortality rate. Researchers have extensively worked on Malayan cryot that has helped them in treating victims of the snake. Their victims will experience a wide variety of symptoms, including abdominal pain, bradycardia, high blood pressure, and seizures. These symptoms appear approximately after three hours, but some victims may not experience any symptoms as they might have been bitten without venom. Russell's Viper This venomous snake is found in the Indian subcontinent and is named after a Scottish herpetologist, Patrick Russell, who mentioned it in his work, titled an account of Indian serpents collected on the coast of Coromandel in 1796. Russell's viper usually grows up to 4 feet, but some can reach 5.5 feet in length, having a slender body with flattened triangular head, rounded, raised, and blunted snouts. Their large single nasal scale and large nostrils are also quite prominent. These terrestrial serpents display threatening behavior and can become extremely aggressive if pushed beyond their limits. When infuriated, they turn their body into an S-shape and raise part of the body above the ground and hiss very loudly. The venom found in its single bite is sufficient to kill a human. Death Adder These highly poisonous snakes are inhabitants of Australia and Papua New Guinea. Their victims have a mortality rate of over 80% before the development of anti-venom in the 1950s. Their venom, being neurotoxic, results in the loosening of muscular system control of the victim, Subsequently, the respiratory system faces failure, and eventually the victim dies. Its victims also experience abdominal pain, drowsiness, headaches, and enlarged lymph nodes. Sometimes they can have a dry bite that the bite is without venom. Death adders can equally be harmful to pets. After injection of venom, dogs tend to live only 20 minutes, even after administration of costly anti-venom. Mojave Rattlesnake Technically, the Mojave rattlesnake is called Crotalus cutilatus. It's a pit viper having an incredibly harmful neurotoxic and hemotoxic venom. It's considered one of the most powerful in the world. It has two varieties. The venom of one type causes shutdown of the victim's body, whereas the other leads to internal bleeding until death. The severity of venom depends on the area of the snake's habitat. The type of snake that causes bleeding till death is generally found in south-central Arizona. The other that causes body shutdown is found in the rest of the areas, usually in the northern to central Mexico and southwestern USA. They grow up to 4.5 feet long and have no difference from other rattlesnake species. They have keeled scales, rattling tails, and heat-sensing pits. They prefer to avoid confronting unless forced into a corner. Elipids Instead of a single species, elipids are a family of poisonous snakes having fangs in the front of their mouths that are always erect and ready to inject venom. They're also renowned for spreading their neck flaps while rearing upwards to confront prey. They are residents of tropical and subtropical regions like Asia, Australia, Africa, and the Americas. Some marine forms of elipids are also found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Their size can vary from 7.1 inches, like a white-lipped snake, to 19 feet long, likely to be the king cobra. 
Most members of this family have neurotoxic venom that can easily immobilize any victim or threaten by damaging hearts and cells. Hemotoxin also forms part of the venom which solidifies and clots the victim's blood. A specific antivenom is required to treat the bite of elipids. Green Anaconda It is one of the longest serpents in the world. It generally grows up to 20 feet, whereas the longest one measures 29 feet. They can weigh up to 550 pounds, but they're not venomous. They resort to constriction for killing their prey. Their victims generally include tapirs, wild pigs, caimans, and at times jaguars. They grab them in the jaws, hold them tightly with their teeth, and then wrap their body around the prey to crush them to death. Green anaconda is found in South America and usually lives in marshes, streams, and swamps. They can move easily in water, and therefore they spend their maximum time and hunting period in the water. Reticulated Python Reticulated pythons are the scariest and longest living species of snake that grows up to 25 feet. They resort to the same technique to kill their prey as used by the green anacondas by coiling around the victim and squeezing them to death, which takes just a few minutes. However, swallowing can take several minutes or even an hour. They routinely feed on animals but don't spare humans either. In 2017, on the island of Sulawesi, Indonesia, a farmer was swallowed whole as he was found inside the snake when it was cut open by the locals. He was reported missing after palm harvesting and during the search, the suspected python was found in the area, lying in a ditch and not moving. King Cobra Fully grown-up king cobras can be found in different colors to include black, yellow, green and brown. Their body is usually covered with white patterns similar to crossbars or chevrons. An additional feature to recognize them is their length, reaching up to 12 feet, and their deadly venom. Well, avoid identifying them with venom as it's much harder to resist it. They're called king cobras because they eat cobras. Hence, the king cobra considers other snakes their food instead of friends from the same species. King cobras are native to areas from northern India to southern China, including Hainan and Hong Kong. They're also found in Indonesia and the Philippines. They mostly reside in or near water bodies where humidity and temperatures stay constant. These include open or dense forests, mangrove swamps, and agricultural areas. They attack humans only if they feel cornered or threatened, therefore they cause around five deaths a year. Titanoboa The largest snake in the world, Titanoboa is now extinct. Scientists claim that it lived about 58 million years ago and would have been 40 feet long with a weight of about 2,500 pounds. The species lived in northeastern Colombia. Its name means Titanic Boa, and fossils of these snakes have been found in Serajoni coal mine and Serajoni formation, with about 28 individuals in total. Researchers believe it to have had a total length of 42 feet. They are believed to be the apex predators because of the warm climate. Their extinction is attributed to the change of climate. We hope you guys are not depressed after coming face to face with so many murderous snakes. Do tell us which one frightened you the most. For more amazing content, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back soon with another mind-blowing video. Until then, have a great time.